Hello everyone, Infinity Dave here again, and I wanted to do a video actually, just a an updated video because now I've got the Valve Index controllers. Now, for reference, I have had the um, Vive ones, the Rift S, and the CV1 touch controllers. These are by far the best controllers um, that I've used for a number of reasons. Um, you can just pull that, and I just love that your hands are free. It makes it so much less fatiguing, um, much better for kind of when you're chucking grenades and say Onward or Pavlov. And overall, these controllers just feel really great. Now, I know you guys probably seen a lot of kind of videos of them, but very nice. And I do think the grip here, you get a real sense of how hard you're gripping. The tactile feedback on this is really good as well. The one complaint I have, now my analog stick's fine, it clicks in every way, but I would just prefer if it was more central. It just feels a little bit off when you're trying to get your thumb across. Now, I've got used to it, but I don't know, it just, it don't quite feel like natural as I was hoping it would. Um, I was hoping, you know, like that feels natural, but there, I've got used to it, but it's just, just being picky really like I've got to say something bad about it because apart from that absolutely love them um, it makes the whole kind of room scale now I've got the index next to me here and I wanted to do I don't know a quick brief update on some of the findings that I've found so for room scale it's quite easy for for my system any the 2080 Ti with the i7 900 700k um, to run at 144 hertz and you can give it a little bit of super sample as well so for room scale with you know with with the controllers absolutely great um best experience i've had in vr you know if you've got the money i would wholeheartedly recommend this because <laughs> it just oozes quality with with the controllers and the headset um but going on to more of the headset because i have had more time with it and I guess that first look was more of my. Well, I guess it's still first impression because I, you know, I haven't put hours and hours and hours into it, but I've definitely put my fair's worth into to kind of testing different things on it. Now, I think for again seated sim racing more, um, there's a coin you have to toss here. Do you go for the high refresh rate that this can offer? Or do you go for a lower refresh rate but with a higher super sample? <laughs> and to be honest, this is something that I've been testing so much. And for me, it's game dependent. Um, I actually, I've set this now at 200 super sample, 200% uh, super sample. <laughs> and dare I say, it's, it's a lot closer to the reverb than it was before. Um, I mean, 100 we have a hundred, you know, just a natural, the native resolution with a hundred super sample. Um, it's good, it is good, but with the 200, it really brings that margin down to the reverb, even with the seated experience. So, and I can get that, but then I have to run maybe 80 hertz or 90 hertz, depending again on the game and what settings you've got. But let's take, for instance, Race Room. So, Race Room, I was running at 80 hertz. Um, and it was smooth, so I didn't notice a, so much difference within that game um, as, say, iRacing, where I did. But with a 200% super sample, man, <laughs> I was really impressed. Um, and that's what I love about the index. It's really growing on me because it has that adjustability. You can change the refresh rate. You can change the super sample. Now I know you can change the super sampling on other headsets, but because you have that choice now, do you go for the high refresh rate or do you go for the high super sample? For me, I again I think it is game dependent race room. I actually prefer having the 80 hertz and the really high clarity picture. Um, but then within eye racing, I don't know why. It might be because I'm using Revive um, because I think the index is having some issues. Well. I certainly was with iRacing where the background was moving a bit. So I'm using Revive. I don't know if it's because of that, but the 
background when you're going at 80 hertz just feels a little bit dare I say juddery but it's not like unplayable it feels very much like the Rift S did at 80 hertz I guess but um, when you're running that like 144 which really does you know that's what I would aim for in Inox isn't it it's so smooth so I know it's a huge difference and there the clarity I wouldn't pick that potentially over the refresh rate. Now I do think you could get a fine line between the both. Um, you know, you could be a meeting point where you have, say, 90 or 120 hertz refresh rate, but have slightly higher super sample than say 144. Um, there are games like Project Cars 2. Uh, I can get 144, but then again, I'm really sacrificing on the settings and no super sample. And then if you, you're in rain or loads and loads of cars on track, there's no chance you're gonna get it. So with Project Cars, I've gone with that one in particular. I think it's 90 Hertz, but we're again with 200 Super Sample. But I do have to lower some of the settings, but it looks so clear. Um, so yeah, it's just an update really on, on what I'm, I'm thinking and something that I've noticed as well. And for me, it's quite a, quite a big deal and I think this is quite important for maybe other people that are thinking of getting it but you know I talked about these kind of lenses here going in and out so I've adjusted this and I've, it's still really comfortable even for room scale still by far the most comfortable headset I've had but I've managed to get it so the lenses are pretty much touching my eyelashes and when I've got it that close the glare that I was talking about it's nearly, uh, I dare say, it's nearly gone. I mean, it is still there just a tiny bit, but so much better. And again, that tilting down I found this help, but with having it really close, it's a lot better. And then I, I tested it, I thought, you know, that is that in my mind if I got used to it? But then I clicked this out, you know, adjusted it to right out and then kind of like halfway in, um, or even just a little bit out, you notice more of that. and. You know more of that glare and also the the clarity on the sides is still good you know when comparing it to light reverb it's still a lot better but it's not as good if you have this right up i guess it's because there's a bigger sweet spot because your eyes are literally right up there i look to the right look to the left and the screen clarity is the same you know <laughs> pretty much the same so i think if you're wearing glasses i do think that that is going to impact your experience a little bit with the with the index um because you're going to have to have them lenses out and obviously people have different shaped heads uh, all that kind of thing so it might not be possible for you to get your head uh you know your lenses and your head right in place and get it all comfortable but because it is so adjustable I imagine majority of people would be able to get it as close, pretty close anyway, um, which I would really recommend if you can do that. It's, for me, quite a big transformation having that as close as you can. Um, and again, with that super sample, I think people will maybe pick refresh rate over super sample, but for me, it's quite a tough call. Um, I think when the day comes where you can have a system that runs the high super sample and the high refresh rate that's when this headset really will shine and you know it will come and I, and I think that's what I like about it it's fairly future proof well as future proof as technology can be um, technology doesn't stay in future proof for long but I do think that this headset has you know still quite a bit of room to where you can upgrade your systems and we're not you know you can't get that on the market right now so yeah i hope you guys did like the video um if you guys have any questions please ask me because i'm happy to answer you know any of them i think you guys can tell that i'm really loving this index right now um i might go through some actual settings with with you do a video on it on kind of my specifically more sim racing or maybe we can look at room scale as well um you know see, see what kind of settings i have if you like them you know you can try them out and let me know give me feedback on it i'd love that um, and if you find anything else, you know, I'm always up for, for kind of learning more. So if you guys enjoyed the video, please give me a thumbs up, subscribe, take care. Bye.